We love gaming laptops here at the Toasty Bros. They're great for gaming on the go. They offer a wide range of versatility and can be used for a lot of different things. But you know what's even better than a gaming laptop? A gaming laptop that is on sale and rocks a 144 hertz screen, a very capable dedicated GPU, and a CPU that'll knock out content creation tasks like video editing and 3D rendering. And today's video is sponsored by our friends at AMD who are nice enough to send over this MSI Bravo laptop to showcase the RX 6500M and Ryzen 7 5800H that is on sale for a Pretty good price right now. But let's not waste any more time and show you guys what comes inside the box of this awesome MSI Bravo laptop and then show you guys the awesome price that it's at right now so you can pick it up at home. All right, let's go ahead and open up this MSI Bravo 15. And I'm pretty excited about this laptop because, you know, at one point this thing was almost a grand or even a grand and now we're looking at $699, which for a gaming laptop, that's a pretty good deal because normally we can only find laptops with APUs around like the four to $500 mark. And then you start to see g dedicated GPUs around like 600 usually, but they're usually not great. It's usually like 1650 or worse. So it's cool seeing a 6500M, which I probably expect to be like a 1650 give or take, but on AMD side of things. And on top of that, it has a Ryzen 7 in it, which is pretty awesome. It's a powerful one at that. And this just goes to show, you guys should wait if you're gonna buy something, you know, don't get the latest and greatest. I guess I'm trying to say you shouldn't wait. Yeah, don't wait. Don't get the latest and greatest. Get like one generation behind. So we get a quick start guide, nice MSI fashion. It's actually a pretty nice box too. Some of these laptops come with like almost no packaging. So it looks pretty good. I've never even seen a box like this from It's MSI. an interesting color scheme. Yeah, and this is this is 3SI guys. 3SI. We, we like calling it 3SI because it's like the new M logo. We get a pretty standard power brick. This one is Delta power spot, it's 150 watts. So it's not bad. Right in the middle, you know? Our power adapter that plugs into the power supply there. Now we open up the laptop and yeah, this is interesting. I don't think I've really ever checked out one of their Bravo laptops. We get almost like a like a Phoenix or something like that on the front, which That's looks, cool. yeah, it's different. It, like I wouldn't see this and think MSI right away, but it's definitely cool. So on the back, no ports or anything. Lots of ventilation though. Kind of three dimensional design all the way around. A little bit of shine to it. And on the right side of the laptop, we have an ethernet port, an HDMI full size, a USB-C, a USB-3 and then a combo headphone jack and a battery indicator. On this side, we have the 12 volt jack, we have a USB 3 and then a USB 2, which is always nice to have. Look at all the ventilation. That's a lot of ventilation. Thing. Look at all the copper and yeah, everything. Yeah, you can almost, like you can see inside it, which is cool. I can literally see like expansion. So here's our M.2 for, I think that's the Wi-Fi. And then over here, you can see the RAMs right underneath this cover. So that's kind of fun. I like that. But I definitely think this thing should not run super hot. It's already not the highest in components. Ooh, it just looks nice. So I'm assuming we got a red backlit keyboard. It's a 15.6 inch 144 hertz oh, okay. IPS display. All right. I'm gonna show Matt this just in case you guys wanna see it. 5800H, which I think is a eight core 16 yep. thread in this. A 6500M, four gig GDR6, 512 gig SSD, two by eight, 16 gigs of DDR4. I, and, and 11, Windows 11. I see why this used to be a thousand, but luckily since it's one gen behind, they're kind of trying to get rid of them. So that's the glory of not waiting for the latest and greatest because you're going to pay a premium for that. And as soon as it leaves their dealer, it is going to drop in price for you. So it's definitely nice getting something like this because I could see this holding its value for a few years, which is really nice to see. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in preemptively because I'm going to assume it doesn't have any charge left to it. And while Jackson's plugging that in, we do have to mention if you want to snag one of these, they are limited quantity. Quantity, check the link in the description down below. AMD was nice enough to sponsor this showcase so you guys could cash in on this awesome deal of this laptop. But yeah, we'll be doing some testing here soon and make sure that the performance is nice and good. Yeah, that screen you can already tell is nice and smooth. Uh, the, the red backlit's subtle, but it's there. It will definitely work well in the dark, but I'm I'm really liking this. I mean, it looks very nice. It's a 144, it's IPS display, which I neither of us expected for the price. And on top of that, it's dual channel RAM. It has 512 gigs instead of the usual like 256. So we're not gonna need to upgrade the storage or the RAM. This is just ready to go out of the box. And for the price that they're selling it for, this is going to be a quick fly off the shelf sale. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and load into Windows here since we already know where all the specs are and are good to go. We'll install some games and then just see how this performs in the most popular titles. And uh, just- Scratch test. No, don't do that, no. And prove to you guys that you should pick this laptop up. All right, guys, we are testing out Halo Infinite to kick this off. We get the FOV all the way up. And as you can see, we're pretty much on low settings just to kind of keep that VRAM down because we're almost maxed out. 1920 by 1080. And uh, yeah, no downscaling or anything here. This game does only run in windowed full screen too, by the way. So I've never really known if that really hurts performance with this game specifically or not. 
Yeah, I feel like it has to do a little bit, but for the most part, this is one of the more demanding games that you would probably play on a laptop like this. Uh, the 6500M is very capable in esports titles, but this is a more demanding AAA title. Um, but it's it's running, you're getting at least 60 FPS, no problem. Yeah, this is where you're definitely gonna see that, you know, where more VRAM in these more modern titles can actually help out. Because we're definitely seeing some latencies that aren't necessarily bad, but they're not amazing. Like, it, it, funny enough, it kind of it reminds me of like being like a console, like a controller right now, with like the constant like 15 milliseconds. But hey, it's playable. Maybe this would be like, use a, use a oh. controller type of case. It is really good this laptop does come with the 16 gigs of RAM because we are using 10 gigs right now. So uh, modern games like this will definitely utilize 10 to 12 gigs of RAM. So 16 gigs, especially dual channel, very much a uh, good inclusion of this laptop. We see a lot of laptops around this price point that are single channel eight gigs and you always have to upgrade it. Yeah, with laptops too, it definitely seems like RAM definitely helps a lot because I, I think laptops are really good at like allocating your RAM for like VRAM or for more cash essentially. Yeah, and definitely my, um, you know, my, my main gripe just about any gaming laptop, especially 15.6, is, you know, it's just kind of hard to see the screen. It's definitely harder when you're not using, like, headphones to get, like, sound cues. So that's where my advice would be to check out, like, one of our full laptop setups. It's basically where we go through and uh, we pick out all the specs for you for the peripherals. And then all you have to do is just add a monitor. Or, sorry, add a laptop, not a monitor. We include the monitor. God, I was like, I need another kill bad, dude. That guy just jumped off the map. Oh, got the kill though. Yep. They're like, this is bad. They're like, wow, this isn't fun. These guys are kind of just clapping. Yes. Ugh. Oh no, not the needler. Oh. oh. Mm, shot from two different directions again. Oh. But it's okay, we're gonna win. We got a guy that has over half of our kills. 32 and seven. 32 and seven? Little bruv for carrying us. <laughs> Shout out to them. But yeah, laptop 60 FPS on this uh, pretty demanding AAA title. Um, we're gonna switch up to Fortnite though, which I think would be a perfect, perfect contender oh, yeah. for this laptop and higher refresh rate display. Fortnite. All right guys, we are now in Fortnite and we are on DX12. We have TSR low, balanced upscaling, uh, medium high settings across the board and Nice and smooth. We're getting 130 to 140 FPS. Fully take advantage of that high refresh rate display. Um, games like Fortnite, um, Overwatch, other esports titles are probably much more ideal for this 6500M with this laptop. Um, Halo does run 60 plus FPS, but if you want that high refresh rate experience, definitely playing games like Fortnite will get you there with that Ryzen 7 5800H, which is also great for multitasking as well and some content creation. If you're doing some video editing on the go, will be an awesome CPU for that as well with its eight cores and 16 threads. So let's go ahead and land and see if I can survive. And that RAM usage, look at that. We're using 15 gigs of RAM right now in Fortnite. Crazy. <laughs> well, sorry, Anonymous. Oh my god! They, oh, that person must be furious right now. I don't even think that was a bot. They were right behind me with the shotgun to my head and they missed. Use the force! Oh my god. Oh, hello! God, it's so powerful. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, face the wrath of a Jedi Knight. Jedi, battle, come here. Oh, he has a, oh God. Yeah, fly away, use the force. Come here. Yeah, you just got destroyed, brother. Yeah, yeah, where do you think you're going? I, I see you metting up. I can do that too. Our final one. All right, you must be defeated by lightsaber. There's no other way for this to end. <laughs> Wait, did I kill him? Oh, I wish it did. Oh, I almost died, but there we go. Victory <laughs> Royale on a laptop with a lightsaber. Yeah, Fortnite is definitely a game that runs great on this laptop. DX12, AMD hardware is working really good. But uh, yeah, this laptop for the money, pretty good deal. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is install some other games that would run well on this laptop and some other higher end games to push the thing to its limits and then wrap this video up real quick and talk more about how you can cash in on this awesome deal. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this laptop and overall 
definitely gets a thumbs up from us, especially if you can actually find it at the $6.99 price point. Now, keep in mind, this is a limited sale and some places might have some different pricing. So just look around, try to find the best price possible. We'll probably leave multiple affiliate links down below. Some will be, some won't be, but yeah, we hope you guys can find this for $6.99 because we do really recommend it. And shout out again to AMD for sponsoring this video to showcase this awesome Bravo laptop. Again, check those links down below to get the best pricing and availability. It is a limited time deal, so take advantage of it while you can. And let us know what you think of this gaming laptop in the comment section. If there's any other awesome gaming laptops you wanna see here on the channel, comment down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye so besides those awesome other YouTube channels and our Twitch, we also have a partner Discord server. We have an Instagram, Facebook, other social medias that came in. We have TikTok. TikTok's really cool too. It's very large. Yeah, we also have those two other YouTube channels. Check out Toasty DIY and Toasty Clips. We post more content. So if you can't get enough of the Toasty Bros, head on over to those channels to see even more from the Toasty Bros. See you guys later. Goodbye.